Reagan, how was your deep slumber? Say good morning. Say good morning. I slept till like eight, eight o'clock, and my dad had to wake me up. Dad never had to do that. <laughs> Where's Dad? Yeah, but like, <laughs> you guys want to know why she slept in? Why? Because she woke up at three thirty, and I had to give her a bottle. So therefore, she was like super full, and she's like, "Yeah, I can keep sleeping, but just that minor little mishap in the night." But was there another mishap? I appreciate her sleeping in because it makes me feel even like the 30 minutes. It makes me feel better. I think there was another mishap. Oh my gosh! I tripped over Ryan. She trips in the middle of the night and grabs my foot, like, and no. it's like, "Why'd you freak out?" I don't know. Maybe I was dead asleep it and. Was it was not on purpose. I thought I was grabbing the bed to not fall. And he goes, oh. I was like, it was an accident. And I just, oh uh, yeah. Scare me. Riley always trips me at night. And it's not good because when I'm super pregnant, I'm like, yeah, whoa. And my balance is already messed up. My allergies are going crazy. We sleep with the window open. So I wake up with like the puffiest face ever. But today we have to do so much packing because we're going to Wyoming for our sister's wedding and then we're staying like five extra days and gonna go to Yellowstone. So I have to pack for the whole family and Reagan, yes you baby. <laughs> like she's probably happy and well rested but now that she slept in, she's probably not gonna take that morning nap and it's gonna be pushed, so she's gonna be my little helper. Luckily yesterday, I organized all her clothes in her room, um, but I think I'm overpacking. I'm packing as if like we won't have the ability to do laundry, but I think we will have like, one day, but I'm also anticipating her having like two outfit changes just from being like outside. So once Banner leaves for work and like we kind of get settled, I'll show you guys all of the things. I kind of grabbed things like last minute for this trip, so I'll show you what we got and then I'll tell you kind of what people recommended to bring that I wasn't able to get because I asked like two or three days before and things just don't ship that fast. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. I've never been to Yellowstone. Reagan won't remember it, but it'll still be fun to have like these pictures to look back on. We have to feed Riley outside in the mornings now because this crazy monster will stop Riley from eating. Riley will back up and she'll pick out the food one by one and throw it on the ground. Same with the water. She splashes in it. Hey, girl. Say, I'm still not walking and I get really mad when my dad makes me walk come on she's like i'm full <sighs> you're doing really good oh it's the one hand she's like nope don't do it come on girl what are you doing say crawling's faster huh crawling's faster honestly i'm probably not ready for you to walk anyway what everyone says she like it's harder when they walk. So, I wonder what? I know. Rather messy toy room. Our house is a disaster. You find your love every stash. Say, make a mess. A big old mess. Yeah. That's cool. That's a fun one. She doesn't really know how to do it, but she still finds it entertaining. So, call that a win. Better headed out to work. I just spent the last 30 minutes stalking the um, Yellowstone location on Instagram. And honestly, it was very helpful because I got to kind of creep on people that are there, like in the same kind of time frame. And like the weather, I realized is very unpredictable and a little colder than I was anticipating. I was anticipating like it's gonna be hot every day, but some of these people's posts were like, it snowed and I was like, oh no, I need to reconsider some of the things that we're packing. Yeah, you're gonna need a, a better jacket. Oh, she was just playing so quietly. You went down, is that what's wrong? You're gonna play, you want me to sit here? I'll sit here. But yeah, I do recommend if you're like going on any trips, search the location on Instagram and then you can kind of see if people posted, not in like a creepy way, I don't know if what I'm saying is creepy, but like 
it just helps you get a better understanding because you can look at the weather on an app all the time but like people could be there and they posted a picture and it's like ah, I'm cold like based on what they're wearing is that creepy I feel like that's smart like you're just like people tag the location so you can like see that I don't know if y'all think that's She's jealous that I'm talking to you guys. Do you want to go up and show them everything I laid out? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. This is the cluster mess of clothes that I've put out for Reagan. I'm pretty sure, I've, like I said, I'm probably overpacking because I have no idea what to bring. But look at these. These were from when we told my dad that I was pregnant. I'm pretty sure they're like, what size are these? I don't know, super small, but they still can fit on her foot. When she stands, they don't fit perfectly, but she's gonna walk down the aisle at Banner's sister's wedding as like the flower girl. Not walk, obviously, but like gonna be carried. So I thought she could at least put those on for show. Yeah, cause they're not too small when they're just on you. You want them? You can pass them on to your brother. So yeah, he can wear them too. Those are cool, I see them, thank you. You want the other one? Here you go. Wow. Okay, but when I thought the weather was gonna be like so hot, I got out all of her like onesies and stuff, cause I did look, during the day it is pretty hot, at least where the wedding's gonna be. So I just have a bunch of like shirts with short sets and I like to fold this shirt and have the shorts inside just so it's like an outfit and Banner doesn't have to worry about it if I'm asking him to get her dressed. And then this is that little, there's little pants in there. I'm probably gonna pack a few more long pants. I have two short sleeve shirts. She has little Nike shorts. They don't really fit her, but I think if I just like fold it down, they'll work. But like so cute, oh my gosh. And then a little t-shirt, it's gonna look like a little, summer camp girl in that outfit um but then this is like a it's like a little nike sweatshirt with some leggings so i have some things for like the colder weather i have a bunch of pajamas i have to show you guys i'm bringing two options for her like wedding outfit this is so so cute it's from amazon this with the little cowboy boots down there will be so precious. And then I'm thinking this for like the rehearsal dinner with this little bow if she'll let me put it on. But there she is. You excited? Oh, you turned it on. One of these dirty slippers, that's gross. But just a bunch of rompers. And I'm perfectly fine overpacking just because if things do get dirty, I'd rather be more prepared than not prepared. Are you tired? You trying to tell me you wanna go to sleep? But you slept in. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you gonna help me pack? Uh, okay. So are your steps gonna go? Are you gonna get in it? You wanna go bye byes? <laughs> yeah, I wanna go bye bye. You did take them all out when I wasn't looking. Oh my gosh. Can you see these? You're just such a good helper, huh? Huh. I need to take all this in a different room and wait. Ooh. Good job, throw it in there. Yeah. 
good job. What else? All your shirts. You packed like mommy packs for herself. Just throw it in there. Okay, well this is a bust. This is a bust. Does mommy need to do this later? Mommy's gonna put this back so you don't completely throw it around. Packing up breaking stuff. Major bust. She started doing it herself, which I'm very proud about, but just maybe not the most organized way. I do need to get packing cubes at some point for all of us, but you know, that's just one step of organization I have not reached yet, and that's okay. But packing cubes would probably make this not possible for her to throw all of her stuff everywhere. All right, you guys, I am coming at you like five million hours later in the day. I forgot I had a dentist appointment, so I had to go to that, and my friend came over to watch Reagan, and then she took a nap, and I laid down. It was a whole thing. I got, I had chipped a tooth, and I got it, like, shaved, and I got these front four shaved, and I'm so happy, because I always had ridges on those teeth. I still have them on the bottom. I'm gonna, like, look into getting those kind of shaved off, too. But now, these all don't have ridges, all thanks to that one like chip I got she was like yeah I'll just like buff them all no charge because like that's the only way to look good and I was like yes thank you but anyway I'll show you the things that I have packed Reagan's asleep I was able to get her suitcase packed and ready but what I have in front of me is the stuff I really wanted to show you because I am obsessed with this little like laundry basket hack that I saw on Instagram so it's this oh okay Wow, <laughs> so I just sprayed this messy stain eater spray or something like that on me because I got pasta sauce splashed up on my shirt, so just ignore that, but this is the basket I was talking about, so it's actually technically a laundry basket, but it is perfect for travel. I wish I'd gotten two. I was gonna pick one up today, but then I felt bad leaving my friend with Reagan. So I just like came right home after my dentist appointment. But I wish I had two because these are so great. I want ideally one for like snacks and stuff. And then this one, all Reagan's things. So this has her formula. We're transitioning her off the bottle, but this is just, you know, in case she has a few books in here I'm gonna add more wipes diapers this love every bag has like five million toys I was actually so surprised at what I could fit in here if I could open it also I'm pretty sure banners calling me and my watch is vibrating but you know that's fine but I was able to fit probably like five or six good sized toys in here but these are easily accessible and then this has some shapes in there and I got this fan not only for the car ride but for like the stroller Banner's truck doesn't have overhead ceiling vents so she can get a little toasty so we got this to clip back there for like airflow um, a ziploc of snacks that I can easily access a bunch of pouches an extra water bottle some more snacks and then these disinfecting wipes so that's her stuff. I'm gonna throw some bottles and more sippy cups in tomorrow morning. But this thing is so cool because I usually pack five million bags like I am having to do again because I didn't get another one of these. But if I have another one, I won't have to take those two bags and I can just have these in the back seat with everything easily accessible, um, which is so perfect because we'll be hopping back and forth from like campsite camp area to camp area so I thought this would be like a good thing and then everyone can see what they need they don't have to like go digging but yeah I just wanted to share this hack because I'm obsessed with this basket and then it collapses down completely flat obviously I can't do that because there's stuff in here but this is probably what I'm most excited about for our trip is this laundry basket Banner definitely did just call me and he's on his way I'm supposed to start dinner but you know I'm vlogging and I totally stopped vlogging for half the day so we're gonna keep doing this and then out here I have her pack and play I stuck the two sheets just right here so that we can quickly set that up and then this is her outdoor playpen 
We ended up getting the Evanflow. They just had it at Target and I actually do really like this one because the ones I was seeing on Amazon, you could only like either get one fully covered for like 120 something and then or you could just get it uncovered for like 60 or something. I keep saying or something because I don't remember. But this one was a nice median price point and it has the half canopy and then half not. And then so it is actually pretty light. And then that little pouch for, you know, toys, snacks, little iPad in there. But that's what it looks like. I'll keep you guys updated on if we like it. Um, a few people recommended the California canopy i'll link it down below if you're looking for like a more hardcore option but this one was from target a nice median price point and this is what we went with we're also taking her jogging stroller um because she'll need it we'll be like going from place to place like in the town um and i chose the jogging one over our apple baby because where his sister's getting married is like a field and this one will go through the terrain better but i left it out front but my neighbors are outside so we're not gonna go out there those are like the main baby things that we ended up doing for reagan all the recommendations said a bunch of snacks which we've got to lower your expectations on everything just kind of go with the flow which i feel like i'm pretty good at that i never really have crazy expectations for her um, but yeah, we're also bringing her a carrier if we go on hikes. I got her the cutest little shoes. I already packed them, dang it. But yeah, that's kind of how my packing day went. I don't know if you guys are a lot more organized than me, probably. Usually I am. I even like started being really organized. I like wrote out each day and like outfits for each day, like what we were gonna need food wise. And then today, I don't know, I just, been a common theme this pregnancy of Tara get your booty off the couch and I'm like I'm so tired but I think today as I was like taking it a little bit more easy I felt him move so much and Banner's home hey yo but yeah that was one of the perks of just kind of slowing down today was he was moving a lot which normally I feel like I don't feel him that much during an average day because I'm so go 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 but yeah. Guess what? what? I didn't really pack that much. That's like us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but she's packed. That's all that matters. We can yeah. Pack she's all packed. We just I, mean, I know what I'm packing. It's just not in the suitcase. Also, we need to be adults and invest in suitcases. We have one that I use. I thought you were about to give me investment advice. I was like, what? Oh yeah, I'm really good at investments, right? Yeah. <laughs> now Banner is trying to talk me out of even more not packing tonight. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I don't know. Yeah, he's saying we're gonna do it in the morning. Oh. We're leaving at 10. <laughs> we're leaving after Reagan wakes up from her first nap. So, yes, we have time. But like, I really thought this was gonna be the time that I was like, car loaded night before, get up, have an easy morning. <laughs> but I just don't think we're those people. That's not the only way. That's just. Yeah, we just are stuck in our ways. Can't change. I don't Guys, know. we're Goodbye. in the camper. You probably can't hear because I'm right under the air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have your first night sleeping in a camper? Yeah. Your standard's yeah. going to be pretty high because this one's pretty nice. Yeah, we got lucky. I'm going to be a bougie little baby. <laughs> this is cool. It is cool. Should we do this? Should we? Get a camper and travel the world. Camper people. You guys, Banner's mom's friend, her neighbor lent us this camper for the wedding weekend and it's like kind of turning me to everybody, want everybody keeps a camper. Taj Mahal. Yeah, this is like the creme de la creme of the campers right now. But we'll give you guys a little tour. It is a little messy, but like, could you see us? Sarah Banner YouTube channel traveling all 50 states in a year or whatever. I don't know. That'd be cool. I think the math on that is like a little hard, but. A little hard. All right, well, I think gonna, my friend and I are going to say hi to Aunt Rachel. Okay. Say bye. Bye bye. Mom can give the tour. Okay, I'm standing when you first walk in. This is a little closet, coat rack. Come over here. 
so sorry we did not make the bed but this is I think it's a king size bed because it is massive um, but it's just a little area and then these doors shut to like close you off so if we did get a camper to live on and we had kids we could just like have our privacy and then they could be out here but then this is the view from that little bedroom like I said we did not clean up for this tour because you know impromptu life and then this little couch folds out into a bed we had Reagan's camera rigged up last night she slept great nice TV console area lots of storage a huge fridge that we have not set up yet it's just stuff for Reagan and then I brought these drinks to take to the wedding and the rehearsal dinner so that I can feel like I'm having a cocktail but I'm obviously not it's a mojito probiotic drink um, but yeah so awesome had to have Reagan's favorite sausage in here gotta keep her fed microwave range top with that's gas which i guess is that what everyone has a little oven and then this sink is bigger than the sink we have at our house it's like a farmhouse tub sink type thing this is the eat-in kitchen area then this is the bathroom it has a really big shower that i'm about to get in more storage in here but i think we could manage in a little trailer like this that would be so fun i can't wait hopefully one day when we do have all the children we get to take a few camping trips either a tent or in a trailer i know trailer is the glamping portion of camping so i don't even know if it's really camping it's glamping but pretty fun but I think I'm gonna end this vlog right here we are gonna vlog more this weekend because we're doing so many fun things gonna see some beautiful places as well but I hope you guys enjoyed this little catch-up travel vlog and we will see you in the next one bye guys